All right, hello YouTube, and welcome back to the coverage of the 2023 Scarlet First Championship. This is round 17. I am playing none other than our favorite guy, Will Anderson. Uh, this is the long-awaited rematch from uh, 2022. We played a beautiful game on stream, uh, really just showing showing the world uh, basically near-perfect Scrabble. Uh, Will played slightly better than me in that game. I just had the better draws. And was able to win. Um, and yeah, we meet again. Unfortunately, at this point, Will has just lost two in a row. Uh, so the top six was Jackson, me, Noah Walton, uh, Corey Swift, Kevin Fraley, and Eric Goldstein. Um, so lots of Jewish boys, lots of white men, you know, the usual. Um, but Will had fallen out. Um, of i mean not of contention but out of the top i think he might have still been top 10 but top six and uh yeah he's in a weakened state that's when i need him that's when i want to beat him um so without further ado we'll jump into the game and uh yeah that's it i went first i had a nice opening rack i was able to play quite for 48 um and Will responded with Wicca, so already you can see I get 48, Will gets WCC, um, and I get a bingo, keeping IG. So the gating comes down, but Will finds a beautiful extension of Mesquite. Luckily that S was not a Z, because um, <laughs> I don't know how much that scores. Well, we don't maybe, but it's a lot. Um, 84, yeah. So Mesquite comes down for 57. And I have a weird rack, but I'm able to play off four vowels and score nicely with weave. Of course, this is not an ideal play. It opens this, especially opens this and this. Um, but definitely worth it uh, just to shed, shed all those vowels and keep the scoring pressure on. Will responds with G's. And I have a couple options in this position. I could play foe for 27. Uh, I could also play B4 for 34. Before is the sort of play of just like, okay, I'm going to keep scoring. You try to catch up to me sort of thing. Um, opening up a lot of scoring spots, just blowing up my rack. Maybe trying to go for one of those blanks. And foe is just a balanced approach. Um, taking out some scoring spots, making it a little bit more difficult to hit this H column and keeping a B E R, which could very well turn into something decent, uh, depending on what Will does. So uh, the, both of the plays are close. It's um, definitely more of a stylistic thing. I think there are definitely times in my Scarlet career where I would have played before rather than foe. Uh, in this case, I just went for foe. He plays vatted and I draw very well draw a bingo of iso bear and as you can see it's just the same old same old like i'm up, up over 100 points for seemingly no reason against all these people uh just extremely lucky will plays meow uh, shout out to all of his cats of course and in this position i have two options i can either play dweeb for 33 or be do for 33 uh, and the difference being be do although does uh give Will more of a access to the end column. And also, I mean, be doing is not a thing. The Gs are gone. But um, potential overlaps can score decently. And it also retains the 14 row as a bingo lane. But it also blocks this I. And this I could be a little bit tricky. Uh, you could draw decently. Um, high scoring plays there will definitely fit. Um, so. And the other thing is, uh, it's not only that players here score a lot sometimes, it's that they reopen the board. So in terms of board dynamics, it's it's a close call uh, because I am blocking more, more bingo lanes here, but I am allowing scoring things to exist. Uh, so Dweeb and Bidu, um, shout out to Dweeb of Vision, of course, another YouTube Scrabble streamer. It's not a streamer. Scrabble content creator on YouTube. Uh, Dweeb is what I played, and it took me way too long to even see this. It took me like a few minutes um, to just even see Bidu and Dweeb on this, uh, in this rack. So yeah, definitely burned a lot of time. Uh, Will finds his only bingo 
of arrivals. Of course he does. Um, and in this position, I mean, just look at this. FNP becomes this rack, AORX. Like who could ask for a more amazing way to respond to arrivals with FNP? So here I could play Ixora for 60 points. I could play Fax for 49 points, keeping a really strong leave of ANORP, OPR. Uh, or I could just block this huge spot. This is what I do. I play Croft for 42. Um, yeah, a lot of good options here, but Prof uh, is better than everything else because it takes away the biggest spot on the board, retains the X with multiple spots to use it, and uh, just all in all balances as best as I can. So Prof comes down, Will plays by, again struggling his UI. He's had WCC, he's had all these VTTD, and here I am with a redraw of Ixora, uh, which is pretty ridiculous. And Will manages to bingo, stay in the game with Hunker. So all is not lost for him. Um, I'm up 36, there's a blank unseen to me, there's this big C column, it's a very important lane, and less importantly, the D column is also a thing, so of course if I can, I would really like to play on the C column. Uh, but the first thing I saw was this play of Linen for 32 points. Very beautiful overlap, making Wiccan and just scoring really well, uh, bringing my lead up to 68 points. And it actually has pretty good timing. So if Will Bing goes immediately after Linen, uh, he'll take a, a little bit of a lead, but he'll draw seven tiles into an end game, uh, emptying the bag. So that should give me very good chances to win after an immediate bingo, uh, because going first in end game is usually worth 20, 30 points. It's worth a lot. Um, so it has good timing in that respect. If Will doesn't bingo and he scores, I will have time to score myself most of the time. Uh, if he makes maybe a four tile play, I can make a two tile play. If he makes a three tile play, I can make a three tile play myself. Uh, it's not super ideal. Uh, you can make a five tile play and leave me in a little bit of trouble, but then I would just try and block uh, the bingo lane. So Linen is a very good option here, uh, but I decided to make a six letter play here uh, and I play Inlaid. And Inlaid is an option, but so is Inland. And Inland is actually slightly better here and I didn't really understand why. Um, but the reason is that just more bingos play after inlaid, stuff like I-O-N-S will play, uh, E-O-N-S. It's just slightly easier to overlap on the D column and still bingo, which is basically what I'm worried about uh, here. Uh, it's very hard to imagine losing other than Will playing a bingo. Uh, and of course, there's still this Y that he could play through. Um, yeah, the point being that uh, I should have played Inland. Uh, it's just a slightly better version of my play. It also retains a vowel with not that many vowels remaining. So this was definitely a small mistake. Um, but yeah, what ended up happening is we'll play Tyene here. Uh, and I'm up 27 with two in the bag. And of course, there are a lot of bingos that fit through this Y. Um, and yeah, I basically just want to block this Y. Uh, there's also a lot of scoring potential. Uh, something like Hope um, is 35 points. Um, something overlapping here. So I have to be a little bit careful. I was looking at like the highest scoring possible plays making Wiccan or Wiccas, and I was really happy to see that there's just no, there's no play like that goes all the way here, making like go and Wiccan to the X. I was happy to see that. And I was doing a little bit of math, um, cursory math here. Seeing like, okay, I'm up 45. What's the best he can do here? Is there anything he can do threaten something else? What's the best I can do with NORS and whatever I draw? And it just looked like I was, I was eking it out. Uh, so I decided that that's what I would do, play Soju, block this Y, and I, of course, draw the blank. There were two tiles left in the bag, and one of them was the blank. 
So this game is now lost for Will, but he does manage to make it pretty close with the play of Heps. Uh, he uh, doesn't have anything better, actually. I thought uh, could be that there's slightly better play, but he's he's lost in this end game. He's just hoping for some screw up. He's saving himself one outplay of Lint, but uh, it's just not going to do it. Uh, and here I actually have an outplay. Um, so feel free to pause the video if you want to try and find uh, my one outplay in this position. I missed it. Um, I made the second best play of NOO. Uh, and the outplay was, of course, Soprano for 14 points. Um, but New is very strong. It leaves me with some decent ways to go out next turn, and it blocks his outplay. And here Will makes play of Tan. And unfortunately here, I just am way too casual. I had like 10 seconds left or 15 seconds left. Um, the play of new, I took all of my time basically on inlaid and soju and then new, I took the rest of my time to try and solve the end game and failed. And here, uh, I'm supposed to go out with Iris, uh, which I did not see. Um, it's also, I think slightly better to go out with rise or three. Uh, but at the very last minute, uh, I changed my mind. I didn't want to go out. I switched my play to six. I think I had rise or risk on the board. I was like, no, uh, it's one point better to play six. And it is one point better to play six, except for the fact that I give Will two extra points for his L. So not only do I go overtime, uh, but I give him uh, a better spot. Um, actually, three points better than after uh, than what I was looking at for him. Uh, no, two points better. I thought, yeah. So I thought that six was one point better. Went over time. Uh, it was actually one point worse because I'm giving him two extra points. So he goes out with tile. Of course, what a good way to go out with uh, play of tile. And the game ends um, 429 for Will and 443 for me because I lost 10 points on time. I knew that I wasn't really risking anything going over, but it was just really stupid to go over. Just like I should have just figured it out faster. Um, but yeah, once again, a close game and a game where Will was like hardly in it. Um, unfortunately, just kept drawing stuff. Um, being ahead by a ton. So he fought really well, uh, but this brought him to three losses in a row at least. And uh, yeah, I was feeling pretty bad because I definitely felt he was one of the favorites to win and he was like sort of knocking, getting knocked out of contention at this point uh, with uh, 17 rounds done and uh, only 11 rounds left to make it to the. Uh, finals bracket so 13 and 4 i won by 14 so a spread of 624 um and let's look back at the scoreboard so after this game um i was still in second place but jackson had finally lost a game so he lost to joey malik and so i was only one game behind jackson but also I was 577 spread behind Jackson. Ori had really good spread. Um, Noah had better spread than me. Kevin had better spread than me. Uh, Eric had similar spread to me. So yeah, my spread was still not very good at 624. Um, but yeah, I was hopeful that if I just kept winning, it would just be me and Jackson, me and Jackson in the finals. But I needed to... Uh, Prove it. This was uh, three games in a row to start the morning. Um, I think there was one game before lunch. And uh, let's look at the board. Yeah, of course, let's go all the way here. Here we go. That's the board. The nice black pro tiles, a little bit of a glare. Um, 
But uh, yeah, new should have been on the board. I was just looking at the end game again, and um, yeah, I forgot to put new back. And uh, that's that, guys. So yeah, I don't know. Every time, like the last two times I played Will in a tournament, it just doesn't seem like it was like a fantastic game. Um, but maybe that's just because I was winning and felt like he should be winning. But in any case. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Next episode will be another um, live streamed game. So I'll provide a post post live stream commentary in the key moments. Uh, and yeah, this game is, if you haven't seen this next game, oh man, you're in for a treat. Um, so I was playing Noah Walton again because it was the first round where we were doing repeat pairings. And man... It's one of the craziest games I've ever played. So I hope you guys will enjoy it if you haven't seen it yet. I'll see you next time.